What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jess Beagle, joined today by DodgerBlue.com, Scott Gearman. Scott, it's a story that, that we just want to die and go away and never listen to, but the cheating scandal of 2017 is back. Evan Gaddis, formerly of the Astros, apparently got drunk, decided to fire off some, some tweets, answer some questions. The quote, I think, that gets at the heart of what we're talking about today is this one quote. I remember knowing what was coming against Kershaw. When you read this tweet, Scott, like, does this hurt you? Are you numb to it? Where are you at? Ah, uh, no, I'm I'm numb to it. I mean, it's it's this is old news. This is 2017. We're years past this, but you still have to. It's it, what I was talking with a few buddies yesterday, and they made fun of me for this again. They're like, "Don't bring this up." But the fact is, we knew a lot about this then. That this that the the statistic out there was that they weren't swinging and missing at Clayton Kershaw. Yeah. But now it just validates a lot of that. They knew exactly what was coming. It, it always matters when some, when it, it comes out and it's exactly what you thought. And it just, yeah. you know, it sucks. It sucks to see. Yeah, Kershaw gave up six runs in a Game 5 loss against Houston in that series. Obviously, um, a blemish on his record and hopefully yeah. one that, you know, historically will be remembered as something where he was he was cheated out of, clearly, by Evan Gaddis. Gaddis went on to admit a whole host of other things, including the fact that he used PEDs. He had a pretty funny comment in there, Scott, about knowing what you Darvish was going to throw and they still couldn't hit him. I thought that was a pretty good one, not to compare Darvish to Kershaw, but that seems about right. Like if you Darvish is on and throwing his nasty stuff, I I'm not sure it would have mattered. Sure. Yeah, no, you Darvish is, you know, during that year is disgusting. He, he has incredible stuff. So speaks to a lot of, of it. Uh, he did talk about, you know, a few other teams that he he was just like, oh, he was sure that they had systems. He just didn't have any proof. But a point I want to make about this is that because we're so many years like removed from the original incident. Yeah. The problem is, is that the information that will come out just kind of feels like, nope, tossed in. Yeah. If that's that's my only thing of it, if it came out then like around, you know, within I would say like a year or two, yeah. then we'd be you know, this would be blowing up news. But this is going to fly by, won't get many headlines, but it just yeah, it sucks. It sucks that, you know, player came out and it was exactly that it completely dialed in. So everything you saw, all those home runs gave up. Yeah. Telegraphed. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, look, the personality type that I am is. I just move on. Like it doesn't do me yep. any good to be thinking about 2017, to be hurt by 2017. They're not going to change anything. It always, it, it will always have an asterisk for me. And that didn't change because of what Evan Gaddis said today. Yeah. But I wonder if you agree with this, Scott, the fact that the Dodgers won in 2020 washed away a whole host of pain that I felt about 2017, even 2019 as well. Knowing that we have one, I think makes this, you know, not enjoyable, obviously, but tolerable. I can I can move past and say, hey, you know what? We got our one at least. Yeah, I think a lot of fans would agree. I, I am one of those that totally agree with that. I didn't carry you know the pain of 2017 into it. I kind of turned the like chapters done, that season's yeah. over with, things happen. It's not that, oh, it is what it is. It's just it's over with. There's the league didn't do anything to those players, they didn't vacate any title. So it doesn't do me any good to sit there and, you know, be angry going into a season or watching the team. Oh, this could, what could have been, should have been. Yeah. But 2020 was sweet, man. So yeah. let's just keep remembering that fans will go with it. And um, there's good times ahead. Yeah, I I'm sure there's a wide range of emotions and reactions to what sure. Gaddis said. Um, so let us know what you think in the comments below. Where are you at? Have you moved past this? I'm sure we're going to get people criticizing the 2020 title. And if that's you, you can go kick sure. rocks. Um, but I'd love to hear what, what the Gaddis comments bring out of you. Are you the type of person that this this busts open an old wound and you're pissed off all over again? Have you moved past it? I'm curious where Dodger fans are at, so let us know below. That's Scott. My name's Jeff. As always, check out DodgerBlue.com, DodgerBlue 1958 on social media. If you're a podcast person, check out the Dodger Heads podcast on Google, Spotify, Apple, wherever you get that. We'd love comments, ratings, reviews. Those help us out as we try and build that up. It's kind of a new thing. We started not too long ago, so join us over there. And, of course, subscribe, ring the notification bell right here. We got post-game shows throughout the week. We've got content like this coming at you as news breaks and as we react to the latest stories involving the Dodgers. So we'd love to have you join our little family here over at Dodger Blue. Again, that's Scott. My name is Jeff. Enjoy the rest of your day, and as always, go Dodgers.